channel so today I'm gonna to be filming a get ready with me let's do my makeup for uni and I thought it would be fun to talk about my experience plus give you guys some tips let's get right into it I've got to take off these glasses. I can't really do makeup when I have them on my face. This is like some light natural makeup that I think would just be very fitting for uni or school if you have the time. I get in with my Laura Mercier. So, where should I begin? I was lucky enough to experience uni and complete my degree with it being both before COVID and during COVID. So, you know, I can relate to you guys who did school during COVID. I feel like I had quite a different uni experience from everyone else. Concealer time. Also, guys, grab yourself a coffee or something so you can watch this video and drink coffee with me. When I started uni, I had just come out from an all-girls high school and I was like so excited because because everyone tells you uni is the opportunity for you to branch out, make new friends, make connections. And maybe I should start by telling you I majored in marketing. So I did a business degree. So fun. Loved it. Kind of actually, mm, there's parts of it. I was like, this has got to be the most social course degree out of all the subjects. Because, you know, business is all about networking and all that. I was so excited to meet new people. All about making new friends and like coming out from high school and whatever. If you watch my TikTok. You know, I didn't have the greatest start in high school. My uni, I feel, was just not that social. And I thought being located in the heart of Melbourne, like I was in the city, so fun. Like all the food options were amazing. But I thought being located there, everyone would be like way more social and way more friendly, but they weren't. What I mean is like when I was in class, no one spoke. Like the tutors and stuff would ask questions, hoping to get some engagement from their audience, but it just didn't happen. They'd ask a question and no one would answer i was in a class of like 50 people and not one person would answer and i'm like what why aren't people super stoked and super happy i feel like most people in my classes were super snobbish and i'm like why like they acted so cool like they were too cool to talk and too cool to participate and is that like a business thing i don't even know in business there are a lot of group projects every subject has at least one group project so you know you're doing quite a lot of networking and i was like perfect this would be amazing i can make friends this way here's a little tip for you tip number one don't go super early to class and be the first person to sit down at the table like when you enter try not to be the first person because then when you get in the room and there's already people there you can kind of suss who you want to sit with you've got the people who think they're too cool the people who are slackers the partiers like he had quite a few self-absorbed people like who thought they were too smart and they were just like i'm a hd student can't sit with me it's like judging a book by its character and it sounds really bad but this is how it went in uni i feel like in my uni there weren't as many like really good social clubs maybe that's changed now maybe covid's changed something compared to other universities my uni was severely lacking in the social sense. We don't have as many parties or like events and stuff where everyone is just really engaged or like wants to be engaged. And I'll just look at my friends' unis and be like, you were so lucky to have all of that. They have camps where they would go away and I'm like, what is my uni doing? We don't have any of that. I like learn. I was like, you know what? I'm going to branch completely out of my comfort zone. I'm going to be the first person to talk to other people and just throw myself out there. The best thing on how to make friends in uni is group projects so you can sit next to people and just like chat and then you can really get like the vibe from them like to see if they want to be your friend or if they're completely closed off people would want to be your friend go like oh you know after class let's just grab lunch together or something like that and that was great if they respond well to you and they're like oh and they chat back and they reflect your vibe then most likely they probably want to be friends and they're open to you know being friends with you but if they're giving like really short answers and they're just like i'm too cool like i don't even want to be here then they probably don't want to be a friend and maybe if they're giving off negative energy, you don't want to be their friend. Going in with some powder. What I wish I learned earlier was to really get involved in all of your university clubs. The ones that appeal to you. I was in school of business, so we'd have our school of business club. Or maybe you're really into 
basketball volleyball like join the sports teams there and there's like so many other ones now i'm pretty sure that's how you're able to meet new friends completely out of your class anyway i didn't learn about that tip until second year so i was like oh i really wish i did that in first year because then i could have had opportunity to meet like really great people with my base all done i'm gonna jump into eyes but there's something really exciting i can't actually see you guys at all right now so forgive me if i look like really sleepy all lens has come to my rescue i have received some really cool contact lens from this brand i've already worn a pair of the brown ones so comfy so i thought let's try a different color and i'm tossing up between gray or green i think i'm vibing the gray today how pretty are the boxes by the way let's unbox these i'm so excited to try it out because i love the brown ones so much so there's two in a pack but my eyes are uneven so i gotta get another pack <laughs> So cute. I've been wearing contacts for a long time guys and my other contacts just don't cut it like I thought they were good quality My optometrist was charging me heaps for them. Like I'm talking $300. They just kept drying out in my eyes These contacts last so long in my eyes. My eyes don't get dry I don't even need eye drops and they're so comfy like I don't feel anything Owens gave me a whole heap of cases and in this one here I even got tweezers. This is a game changer this tweezer. This is when the tweezers come in handy because yeah, there we go and then I gotta do the other side so I don't look so lopsided Alright, so I got my contact lens in and I can see you now because these are prescripted so they absolutely saved my life. Ooh, I'm loving the colours. So soft and I got the monthly ones so I was absolutely shook with how soft they were and how comfortable they feel in my eye. Like they last me from 6am all the way until the evening. Thank you so much to Olens for sending me some contact lens pulling the eyelashes. And I met so many amazing people through joining the social clubs. Like I think I was in some business association one and I helped like set up stuff for orientation days and other events that are just happening throughout my uni and that was really fun and really great to be a part of my shout out time you guys know i love my roman palette i have three of them i always use that shade and shadow one anyway because i was in business my uni would host these women in business networking events if you're doing a business degree you know all they talk about is networking and I'm not too sure how I feel about that because when I attended these events, people did network. I feel like everyone just expected you to go up to them and then because everyone expected that, no one actually made the first move. It's kind of like dating. <laughs> and a lot of the time, what I would get at these events is just really snobbish people who the first thing they would ask you would be, what's your GPA? Or what did you get for this unit? Like I got a HD or I know someone in the big four. I don't really mix well with those types of people because I feel like you know when they're just a know-it-all it's not fun so I didn't really feel like those networking events really helped my situation so I kind of like got very mm, unenthusiastic of attending those events everyone would dress up in their suits and corporate wear but it wasn't that fun Another good tip for uni, my eyes are really popping on camera, I really like them, is there are never too many questions for you to ask your professor, lecturer, or tutor. In my first year, I was very, I was like really, really depressed in my first year because I didn't know how to handle like being out of high school. I was kind of really lonely. That's so sad to admit. And I didn't really care about my grades. But in my second year, I was like, no, I want to try as hard and see how far I can go. I loved academic validation my second year so I was aiming all for HDs. So my tip is if you are going to be the same and try and be very studious is always ask your lecturer and tutor as many questions as you can about the topic that you're interested in or just how to perform better on your projects and assignments and tests and stuff because they are always willing to help and they love that. Going back to my first point because no one ever talks to them, no one ever responds to their questions in class so if you ask them stuff they'll be more than happy to like talk to you and that's how you go from getting like a distinction like a 70% to getting a HD 80% and up baby now I'm gonna go in with eyeliner I'm gonna go in with this MAC one and I'm gonna make these bad boys how did I even get that much eyeliner on my finger oops flipping you off oh man what a waste of eyeliner if you know me I'm the biggest stinge so I don't like to waste anything but I just like to tight line my eyes and then I'm gonna go in at a wing and I'll get right back to you Done my eyeliner. Hopefully she's even. I can't stop looking at the viewfinder because of the contact lens. Whoa! So hard guys. Like my hands are shaking because I've had a lot of coffee. 
this is where you like need to trust in the process anyway let's talk about my first year orientation week so i was in this applied course and the applied course means that you are doing one year of work integrated learning so essentially that's like an internship as part of your degree and i thought it'd be like really beneficial because then you have something on your work experience part of your resume so we had a special orientation week and this was really fun this was probably like one of the best things about o week was i gotta go on a scavenger hunt around melbourne city i don't live in the city so i was like absolutely thriving mind you i thought this is so cool this is so fun like in a way kind of exploring the city anyway that was really fun that was what i did in o week and that was probably like the only cool thing that happened to me i remember in my uni they served us ice cream with cockroaches in it because we were trying to be like super tech advanced and like this is what you'll be eating in the future insects because everything else runs out kind of scarring point that was kind of a really scary thing i did not eat cockroaches if you were wondering that was on the menu how the ice looking I was just thinking like I really want to try highlighter. I don't own a highlighter and there's a few I kind of want to try. Or is that just unnecessary? But if you have any good highlighter recommendations, let me know down in the comments. Also you guys, let me know what you're majoring in or what you'd like to major in in uni. If you watched my Yes Style haul, I got some Twinkle Pop glitter. I'm just going to add that under my eyes and a little bit on the top lid. Another tip going back to uni, but I would highly recommend surrounding yourself with good people who are like-minded with yourself because in my first year I made the mistake of surrounding myself with the wrong people they weren't bad or anything they just had different goals in life I almost failed one of my units because of that that was solely because it was a group project and in this group project it was just me and two other people one of the guys he was just like a party animal so he would prioritize partying and going out over studying what screwed us was was the fact that the girl who was also meant to be doing her part pulled out and just decided she wasn't going to do the unit anymore and you do get those types of people so in the end it was just me doing all the work and that was really scary because tutors aren't really like understanding or supportive of the fact that if you're in a group and you're suffering and you're doing all the work they don't really care they just want the work done and this tutor didn't care that one of my group members didn't submit anything because she pulled out and so she essentially left left us with two days until the due date with nothing done on her part and then the other guy barely put in any work so his material that he contributed was just like barely a pass actually it wasn't even a pass that's why i failed that group project and i had to make up for it in the exam that was so scary time to add some life back into this space anyways i always thought uni was fun because i could wear whatever i wanted to uni and also because i was in the city that like people would dress they have very individual tastes and they're not afraid to show it, which i love because then it made me feel more confident in what i would wear and mind you i wasn't wearing anything too out there i just like never dressed casual before so often because in high school I had a uniform. I always try a glossy look so how about we attempt a matte look today in honor of autumn because it is autumn. I'm so excited. I have been loving this thing lately where I layer my lip products so I'm gonna go in with this like burnt orange shade put that in the center and it gives like a nice gradient effect and this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this chatty get ready with me with my uni tips and my uni experience let me know your thoughts down below let me know what major you're studying or you'd like to study don't forget to leave this video a like comment and thank you so much to all lens for sending me these contact lenses do you like i try to match them to my sweater because i was like they're like great i'll catch you guys in my next video bye